CNN just dropped a bombshell report on Melania Trump, and it exposes just how not thrilled she is that her husband is going to be the president. So in this video, we're going to dive into that report, but first, I would like to say that there's actually one thing that Melania Trump is excited about for this upcoming presidency. She gets to scam more people. So let's take a look at this most recent scam that she's doing to make a few extra bucks off of stupid people, and then we'll take a look at that bombshell report that CNN just dropped. So here's this article. Melania Trump's latest announcement shows that she isn't stopping this controversial side hustle anytime soon. It seems that even though Donald Trump is heading back to the White House, Melania Trump is continuing this controversial business venture and isn't slowing down anytime soon. Earlier this week, Melania released a limited edition photo series called On The Move, which shows Melania in various professional settings. The 16 digital images show her on the campaign trail, in her office, and more, and she's selling them via blockchain. It's being sold on her website for nearly $200 and is being sold on Solana Blockchain, which is an eco-friendly proof-of-state blockchain protocol per Fox News via MS. SN. For those wondering what the heck is a blockchain, well per IBM, a blockchain is basically a technology that records transactions, often associated with cryptocurrency, NFTs, and more. And this isn't the first time that Melania has dabbled in this world. In fact, she's been in this controversial world since 2021, making her first post-White House project. Since 2021, she's released a series of NFTs, many of which are ornaments for the holiday season or other holidays. Now, why are blockchains and NFTs controversial? Well, because they've been linked to many scams, intellectual property issues, and have been linked to contributing a lot to carbon emissions, to name a few. Now, this was just a little bit of backstory towards this, but now I want to take you to Melania Trump's website to show you the direct page where she's selling this from. So here is Melania Trump's website, you can see by the name. And here is On The Move, price $195. Limited photography series, digital collectible. This exclusive collection of images showcases First Lady Melania Trump's dynamic life, featuring her in various settings, from her office and the campaign trail to her home. The photographs captured by the esteemed Belgian photographer, Regine Mahax, I apologize, I know I mispronounced that, offer a poignant glimpse into her fast moving life. And each set of these is permanently minted onto the Solana blockchain. And on the right here, we have sort of, I guess, a small preview of one of the images. It's kind of weird that they only show one of the images. Well, actually, I would say not, because from the previous article, we learned that this is only 16 images. So this is 1 16th of what it, they have to offer. And I guess if they showed two, that'd be, you know, 1 8th of this whole purchase, which is almost $200. That's insane. And then finally, I wanted to go over some comments that was left on this article because there are quite some funny ones. It's obvious she's right at home in this family. If you can't make money one way, I guess you'll make money another. It always helps if you have willing buyers. That may stop when the tariffs start and the price of food and gas goes up. People will buy anything these days. Probably the same people screaming about high prices at the grocery stores. Eggs, milk, gas cost too much. Inflation is causing this country to fall apart. I can barely afford to buy the Trump Bible, sneakers, NFT, watch, the former first lady's book, jewelry, the photo book, the agony, what shall I do? But yeah, this is clearly a scam that some idiots are going to fall for. Because seriously, who in their right mind would pay $200 for just 16 pictures? This is absolutely insane. But you know what else is insane? This new bombshell report that CNN just dropped. So let's take a look at this report. Will Melania be living in the White House for Trump's second term? Probably not. Melania Trump will probably not be returning to the White House for the next four years with her husband, multiple sources told CNN this week, but rather will be splitting her time between Palm Beach, Florida and New York City, where Barron is going to college. For many observers, it is unclear who might be more relieved by this decision. Melania, who famously did not love her life in DC the first time around, or the White House itself, where Trump's wife once expressed her discontent by filling the halls with blood-red Christmas trees and destroying the historically beloved Rose Garden. Melania's apparent refusal to return to the White House for her second run as FLOTUS is a stunning break from American tradition. No other first lady in American history has simply opted to live alone in a Manhattan apartment, instead of moving back into the East Wing where she'd have a full staff doting on her and the best possible security apparatus. But the decision came as no surprise after her absence from the campaign trail this year, which was so glaring that when she did show up on election day in oversized sunglasses, Melania body double conspiracy theories quickly ran rampant. 
She seemingly relished in her freedom from the White House the first time around, as evidenced by her beaming smile upon landing in Palm Beach after Trump lost in 2020, and her apparent personal disdain for her husband whose sexual misconduct allegations reportedly inspired her to renegotiate the conditions of her prenup before agreeing to move into the East Wing the first time around has likewise been obvious for some time. She reportedly quietly renegotiated the prenup again ahead of Trump's second term, but this time without even agreeing to live in the same city as him. The latest news of Melania keeping her distance from the Beltway follows her rejection earlier this week of Jill Biden's invitation to have tea at the White House. The invitation is part of the symbolic changing of the guard tradition that sitting and incoming first ladies do every four years to project a peaceful transition. Now there is more stuff in this article, but it's pretty much just a recap for stuff that we already know, so I'm just going to end that off here. But overall, this is not the most surprising news, but it shows just how uncommitted not only Melania is, but also Trump. She knows that he doesn't actually want to be president to help improve the lives of the people. He only wants to stay out of jail and make more money. And if he doesn't actually care about being president, then why should Melania? That's exactly why she does not take her role as first lady seriously and just sees it as a bother and a chore. And even though last time she reluctantly played that role, this time it looks like she's not even going to step near the White House.